for this to get hot. Right, one teaspoon, half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, one teaspoon is more than enough. More, more than enough. Okay, one teaspoon done. Okay. Give you a shake and make sure they're nice and dry and roasted. So basically, okay. We don't want to burn these though, yeah. We don't want to make them go black. Just, just to release. You don't want them to get black, yeah. Here's one empty. I can smell it now. Yeah. Once you can start smelling them, you can add your oil. Okay. How much oil? Um, I will say more or a little bit more. About two, three tablespoons worth, basically. Okay, a little bit more. All right, no problem. Okay. All right. Shout out to all the people that used to work with me at Bombay Palace as well. That what you. Okay, brilliant. Right. So, I'm Zahir and Zahra. Okay, excellent. Okay, right. So, we're, we're waiting for the oil to get ready. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, nice and nice. Hot. Okay? Yeah. Right, so Fuduchi used to run a, um, a restaurant in Batley, the best restaurant in Batley. I ate there once. It was amazing. Okay, um, it was cutting edge at that time, so it's he's passing on a lot of his knowledge on to us now. Okay, okay so, right. so I can see my uh, the cumin sizzling, so now onions are ready to go in basically. Okay, so this is two medium sized onions which have been yep. finely diced, yeah, yep, okay, we go with the yeah, okay. Okay, excellent. Okay, how long do you want to keep this guy? We need to get these onions nice and cooked. Okay. To the stage where they're getting brown on the edges as well, nice and golden. Right. Okay. As well as the onions, I'm also going to pour about half a teaspoon of the curry meki. Now? Okay. Now, now as well as later as well. Okay, I don't have enough oil in my pan. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay. So I'm going to rub it in between my hands and crush them as well. Okay, so about half a teaspoon? Or one yeah, teaspoon? Yeah, half a teaspoon is more enough. One teaspoon is enough? Okay, so this is... Kasturi meti, I'm gonna crush yeah. it and then in. Yeah. Okay. So, why why are we putting meti in now? That might be a question. Okay, go on. Why do we put it in now? Right. Basically, whilst your onions are frying, this meti is also frying and giving up, giving off loads of flavor. Uh -huh. um, right, and that flavor will be in your in your in your gravy. It'll be very very nice. So, okay. you cook and methi when it's cooked gives that raw bitter flavor, which when, when, once it's in the curry, it gives you a really nice flavor to your, uh, to your meal. Okay, it's quite pungent. Um, so, we fried some, uh, we uh, dry fried the uh, cumin for those people joining us now, then uh, we added oil, and then uh, we saute in the onions, and, and then we put in one teaspoon of costumi methi, which has been crushed in our hands okay yep lamb curry yeah it, it, this, is, this is good okay really enjoy this it's a proper restaurant experience all right okay lots of people waiting for samples inshallah no problem inshallah okay So, um, since we've got some time, why don't yeah. we um, talk about why you started that business? You know, because if I, if I remember correctly, when you're in London, you're with, uh, you know, you're with us, you, do, you, you study computing, computer science, yeah. and then all of a and, sudden and there's a massive sea change? Well, you know, what it is, is um, you're not, we're not in control of our destiny. Uh, Absolutely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, so, you know, what, 
what comes towards you, you have to accept and take. Uh -huh. So an opportunity came along. It was too good to uh, not, uh, you know, dabble in that. And luckily, we had some really good uh, people with us who along the way taught us a lot of things uh, of the restaurant trade. And so we're forever thankful for that. Okay. I'm here on full. Sorry? Uh, I'm here saying that it's onions are taking too long to actually cut. I no, just told him to, you know, put on full. Onions are properly cooked. Otherwise, what's going to happen, mm -hmm. right, is you're going to end up with lots of water being released from the onions as well as yeah. when you put the chicken in. So you don't want to have a, a soup, really. You know, let's get the onions cooked properly. So you need to make sure that there's... You, are you waiting for them to go golden? Yeah, yeah. And that's why you dice them instead of slicing them. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm, I'm already getting to the stage where some of my onions are now getting to the stage where some of them are getting nice and golden brown on the edges. So basically, just make sure you give it a stir so you know they're not all, all getting brown only on one side. Yeah. There's a fenugreek. This, the surimeti has a really, you can smell it now. Yeah. Yeah. You can just quite, quite punch it, quite fix it. You've got your base cooked correctly, your your curries will hopefully turn out really well. It's this mm -hmm. bit that takes time, but it makes a difference in uh, the flavor. Okay. And if you've been preparing and got everything ready, once this bit is done and the chicken's cooked, uh, the last stage won't take that long. So my onions are nearly there. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, yeah, they're nearly it's a there. a little bit longer. They're browning around the edges. Yeah. So get them to be brown. And at this stage, your pot's going to be really hot. So there's one or two things we can do also to make sure your onions don't go really brown is to turn the heat down. And if you've okay. got a bit of water, you know, it's always good to have a bit of water near you, you know, a yeah. glass of water so you can add it in and it will cool the temperature down as well. But not just yet. You know, that's another trick. If needs be, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, before, yeah. I, before I, if my pot is very, if my karai is very hot, and I want to put the garlic and ginger in, if you put it in when it's very, very hot, it's going to burn your garlic and ginger. Yeah, I'm going to turn this down. Yeah. So what you can do is add a little bit of water to cool the temperature in the karai or whatever pot you're cooking in, and then mm -hmm. you can gently fry up your garlic and ginger so they don't burn. Right, okay. So these, mines are basically there, yeah? Yeah, yours are, near, yours are there, um, mine are nearly there. Okay, I'll wait for you, I'll put this down, I'll put a little bit of water just to cool this down a little bit, okay? Yeah, put a little bit of water in there so you know, you're not, you're not uh, letting them burn. Put your temperature down as well. Yeah. Induction hobs is the way to go. Pretty cheap. Uh, okay. Induction, all the way. A good job, uh, the better half's not listening right now. In induction all the way. Mrs. Don't let me cook on the gas anyway. So that's why I got into induction. Don't ask why. I'm using an induction hob. That's why. Induction hob, you don't lose any heat. So this is not a hot. This bit is not a hot. It's just used by, it uses magnetism. And it's totally portable. So I can take this anywhere. Yeah, so you just need a special. I'm nearly there. I'm just mm -hmm. going to put a little bit of water. So I'm... Okay. Hello. Is that me or you? Yeah. Yeah, well, we don't know what we're ready for the ginger and garlic. So, as per the ingredients that we shared, we need to put the garlic and ginger in. You need to put the garlic and ginger in? Okay. Ginger. Got it. Right, we need to get this sauteing and obviously not burn because if you burn your garlic and ginger, you're going to have a very, very bitter and acrid taste to your curry. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah. A couple of minutes and we we're ready for the chicken thereafter. Yeah. Got it. Has everybody, is everybody keeping up? Don't blame her for not using a cooker. Oh, yeah. Fast track, I'm using less oil, you see, because of you. Right, are we ready for the chicken? Yeah. Okay, right, in goes the chicken. Uh-huh. Chicken pies, yeah? You know what I feel about that? Yeah, well, I had a conversation with you yesterday. Um, I might tell the viewers that he... Can you say that they can use chicken um, breast if they don't have pies? He said, don't even talk to me. I only use chicken breast. So... Right. So, once the chicken breast is in, we can add the haldi. You don't even have to mix it. Just get the haldi in. Okay. How much? So I'm using a good level teaspoon of uh, haldi, yeah? Okay. And I'm also putting my salt in at this stage as well. So I'm, I'm using my salt, which is about a teaspoon and a bit, because we eat quite less salt in our house. Yeah. You put salt in, in as well? I'm also adding my green chilies. It's about one teaspoon. Green chilies. Yeah. yeah. And this is now on a high heat as well, by the way, yeah? Okay, let me turn this up. And we need to get this uh, chicken sealed properly and cook, start cooking. Oops. Any questions? How many um, children are cooking out there? How many first timers? If you're a first timer, put your hand up. If, you know, if I'm correct, Foodie Chief's son is cooking, not Foodie Chief himself. Yeah, he's, uh, he's here learning. Okay. Oops. Right. Do a good mix and that's it. This, or do you want to leave this like this? If you can cover it for a, a, a few minutes, that would be great. Because the steam will start releasing the water, so I'm just going to cover it. Cover it? Okay, let me get a cover. We've got lots of first timers here, so that's really good. Excellent. That's a lot. He's the billions, man, honestly. Right. Let's see, have a look at some of the comments. What are you making? Chicken curry. Right. Got a lot of comments. Let's have a look. Assalamu alaikum, Khalida, Mabs, um, Ravina, Auntie. No, just Instagram. What's the number? I need to call for delivery. Come down, bro. Uh, Sadia, Kulsum, Balloon Box. Khalid's there as well. Assalamu alaikum, Izzy Lou. Izzy Lou. Kabar bai, bagus. 
Well, we need to cook this on a high heat now. Once it's cooked, yeah, yeah. It's it's high. Heat. You should see that there's some liquid being formed. Robbie, salam alaikum. Fiaz, Ash. Oh, mashallah. Lot house is here as well. Mima Wright is here. Starts wearing it. Stuff for that. Okay. Excited. Start this round, boy. Enjoying the thing. Parted. Um, that's kind of fozy. Would you say, would you say the induction is? That's uh, well, it's all about preference. I prefer it. Um, can you give me a shout out? Patel Zara Shai. Okay, that's your shout out. It's going to be saved. Sadly, we can't say this, but it'll be on the um, stories for 24 hours. Okay. Uh, Zara, have a look at that. Um, let me just give this a mix. Yeah, you see. See a lot of liquid being formed. Yeah, the, the chicken obviously has got a very high content of water, so it's going to start releasing it once it starts cooking. Okay, pause this again. Let's look at some more rest. Um, you think enough stuff to cook? Where is my parental? Um, in case if I'm half as she, no, I'm sorry, I think the cook is in. Woo! This is good as a thing. Mr. Pivoti, is it excellent? Okay. Okay, my arm are too big, no problem, sorry, I can't believe it. Can you repeat what you've done? So we've fried it on it, uh, we've dry fried the cumin, then we've um, added oil, fried the onions, and then added the um, intellectual golden brown, then added the chicken with the salt, uh, sorry, garlic and ginger first, sauteed them them off a little while, then the chicken, salt, and uh, haldi or turmeric, and uh, that, that's what we've got. Okay, yeah, when we well, fried the... Uh, uh, a few questions on about you know, the glow, uh, uh, gas on glow height. You need to be on high, please. Yeah, you cook this on high heat, yeah? Yeah, high heat. Yeah. If you cook it on slow, the water will be released and it'll stew. It'll stew, you won't see it, yeah? Yeah. Any chance you can put the volume up higher on your end? This is the highest it's going to go. So I'm out here from your farm. Uh, my mum doesn't let me cook, but she takes out all the jobs you're going to for her. Why are you not mixing? I am. I just mix. Uh, yeah, man, I'm Alright, if you're low, it's on pass. Rehana, it should be related. <laughs> Mashallah, lots of, lots of first timers. Good. Right. Yes, we added the salt when we added the chicken. Okay, did you add the salt? Yes, I did add the salt. Yeah, let me take. See, uh, you can Let's see, see on window that there's a lot of uh, liquid release. Okay. Are we going to... Any other questions? I want to say something about... Yeah, no problem. It's supposed to be yellow because you put the haldi in, yeah? Yeah. When do we keep the thing on? Um, do we keep the pot on, yeah? Very cheap? Or we, do, do, you, do, you want, do you want to keep the lid on? Or do you want to just no, burn no. it? Once, the, once it's released the liquids, leave it off because we want to cook it and... So what about this one? It's quite liquidy at the moment. So I'll take it off, yeah? yeah. Yeah, take it off and we want to get this uh, liquid evaporated. All right, no problem. And we'll know when uh, it's uh, almost evaporated, you'll see the oil coming uh, at the top, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, your chicken's then more or less cooked. And then mm -hmm. we need to get the different stages on. Okay. Okay. Can you all hear me? Okay. Bloody Foodie, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Hello, plug. What did she ask? Can you hold? What is that? Can you wait till we burn the excess water? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. 
we're not gonna it's gonna burn all this water off it's not gonna take long but this is the water from inside the chicken yeah so if you yeah. notice this chicken it came up right to the top of my pan okay now it's big you know it's not a full pan anymore because the water as most of the most of the muscle is what two-thirds water so you need to evaporate some of that water off that's why if you cook with chicken breast and it doesn't have a lot of um it's not a lot of collagen in there okay it's just it's just simple muscle okay then what happens is it tends to dry out that's why lots of people prefer chicken thighs to chicken breast okay it's not nothing to do with you know we're classy you know how can we eat chicken thighs chicken thighs dirty etc no 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 even on a barbecue chicken breast is is no way as good as chicken pie and that's why if you look in these uh, new barbecue places and uh, and uh, burger joints they have chicken fry burgers even fried chicken fried chicken fry burgers why nice and juicy you know the one of the best chicken burgers i've had at um the great chase how was it it's really good it's really good yeah chicken pie yeah jump in their head uh, instead of the yogurt can we put double cream to use it up so the chief will do that at the end um, yeah, it's an optional thing, but I wouldn't put too much cream on because it'll then tone all the flavors down. The, the cream will calm everything down. You won't get the the, the, the spicy flavors that you're getting uh, from the from the not with the yogurt because that'll give you bring it tanginess. Okay. How are we doing for time? We're doing well. This should be done in the next fifteen minutes. Thirty G. Yeah, we should be if we if we're on track. Yeah. We should. Happy to take more questions. No problem. Whilst we're cooking this, because we've got the water too, so I burn up a little bit, and then uh, add the chili paste after that. Uh, oh. Followed, followed by uh, the our uh, um, cumin and all a cumin. But I've got my karai masala that I want to use up as well. Yeah. So you, uh, Chief, Chief, can you do a quick recap of what's done so far? Right. Out. So we, yeah, of course, no problem. So we, in the curry, we te we we added some cumin in, tempered that until the aromas were coming out. Added the oil, uh, heated the oil up. Added the onions and make sure the onions were almost, uh, you know, getting to the stage where they were golden brown. Added the garlic and ginger. Fried that up for a few minutes. Make sure your your curry is not too hot. Uh, and then we added the chicken, quickly followed by the uh, the turmeric, haldi, and salt. By the way, I forgot to add the, the kasturi methi when we added the onions as well. Yeah. So mine has got to a stage where I've got very little um, um, moisture left. I've got a little bit left. I've but got very little mine. water as well. Can you see mine? Yeah. So now, now is the time to add your how is it? Just a little bit more water there. Maybe a yeah. minute or so. Yeah, but if you put it if you put it in, that's fine. If you put it in, so it's not going to burn. You can add the. Uh, add, add, you don't want to totally get rid of the, the liquid. Okay. One second. So we've got one tablespoon of this uh, Kashmiri chili paste that I make at home. Okay, one tablespoon. Yeah. Okay. So I've, I've got a teaspoon, so I'm just putting it in. You can substitute this with a with some chili powder instead, isn't it? Yeah. Of How much? You can. But the flavors that you get from freshly, uh, you know, made chili paste, or even you can keep this as well. So I've got a jar full now we, we made today. That'll last me a good, good couple of weeks, depending on what I'm making. And if you can see straight away the color from the chili paste, as well as the, the heat that we want is amazing. And this will get even more stronger as we cook through. Okay. Yeah. Right, chili paste done? Yeah, chili paste is done. Or chili powder. Mm. One teaspoon, I'll assume. Right, yeah. I'm going to add my karai masala, which I made earlier as well, which I as well. Yeah. Right, so what have we got now? So that's my cumin and uh, coriander powder, yeah? Yeah. 
So I, I need a tablespoon of that, basically. But I'm using my karai masala that you've already, you know, tied with the, yeah, the lamb that we made with the chicken that we made last time. And, yeah? um, uh, we can use, so I use um, cumin and coriander. It's one yeah. tablespoon. Okay. Yeah. So one tablespoon and get that, get that fried off. Cooked off. Huh? Yeah. We just need to get that cooked for a little while. Okay. Just Not the, else, the, yeah? the, Only the, the ajiru, that's it. Yeah, the ajiru, no more than that. Okay, so that's for those people that don't. Gujarati have a mix of uh, coriander powder and uh, cumin powder. It's approximately two thirds uh, coriander powder and one third cumin powder. Is that correct? Yeah, and uh, we've got half a teaspoon of. Uh, Black pepper corned in there as well. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, the color difference all depends on what chilies you've got and you know uh, and your other spices like your turmeric as well. That makes a difference, right? Nuri my my oil is starting to separate, so I'm ready to put in my tomato now. Yeah. Are you not going to add anything else? So no, have you put your uh, chili paste in, you put your uh, coriander cumin in, yeah? Yeah. You put everything in, yeah? Yeah, there's tomatoes. Yeah, please wait until the water's dry before you put any, any chilies in, yeah? Now yeah, you're ready for any water then. Yeah. So, we've got 300 grams of uh, tomato that we've... Uh, so, 300 grams, is that one tin? No, it's just short of a tin, basically. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. If you can, if you want to put a full tin in, that's fine. You'll just get a more, uh, a more, more, more gravy, a more sauce in your curry, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. What do you think? Should I put a little bit more in, or this looks okay to me? Maybe okay. slight bit more. One second, let me just have a look. Yeah. I'm happy with my consistency. Uh, no, yours, no, it looks fine. Looks fine. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Right. Right, just, so that was about three quarter. Yeah, okay. right. So at this stage, you, you just want to turn your, if, if you're cooking on high, just turn it down to maybe three quarters. So okay. It just gives the tomatoes the time to cook. And I'm going to just cover this for a, a few minutes as well, yeah? Okay. And after that, that would be a great time. After that, that would be a great time to just taste uh, your food as well. So make sure. The spicing is right in terms of your Let salt. Let me have a little taste because I'm not too sure about the salt. Yeah. Uh, did I add black pepper? The black pepper was in my karai masala. Do you want us to put black pepper in? No, no, no. Somebody's asking question about did I put black pepper in? Uh, I have black pepper in uh, my karai masala, so I don't put any extra black pepper in. But you don't need to. If you put darajiru in, that's fine. If you put coriander and cumin in, it's fine. Cumin, yeah. I yeah. need a little bit of salt in mine because okay. I need a little bit of salt. Okay. Because, as the Gujarati say, you moru. Yeah, I don't even know. Why do they call it moru? Isn't that late? No idea. Right. Uh, recipe for the karai masala is in the karai lamb in my highlights. If you go to my highlights and look at look for the karai lamb. So basically, lamb. Kashmiri, Kashmiri chili, um, cumin seeds, um, whole coriander seeds, black pepper. And, and half and a teaspoon of black pepper, yeah. Yeah, but you dry fry it and then mix it up. We need to dry roast that. Yeah, dry roast dry that, mix that. It up. It's in the curry. The, the curry pan and and then, yes, you can. You can use the uh, curry masala from the curry gosh, yes. Yeah, dry roast that and and then blitz it up into a, into a powder. Thanks, Eva. Very good, 
just taste mine now. It's been going for a few minutes. It's the sauce more than anything else. A little bit of chicken. Okay. Karai is actually quite dry, isn't it? It's a dry dish. Yeah, you don't want karai. Is, uh, I just need to add a little bit of salt. The karai is a dry dish. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a dry dish. But, you know, having said, having said that, you know, we're cooking this for another few minutes. It's going to dry off, but there's still plenty of, you know, sauce and gravy, uh, you know, with the chicken. So it's, uh, the chicken's not too dry. Another thing is, remember, we're using chicken uh, thighs, so the meat will it's be nice. And succulent. Yeah, the meat is going to be nice and succulent. And the thing is, you, you, you're going to not really overcook this dish. If it was, uh, was chicken breast, you can overcook it, it'll go dry and it'll start shredding then. This oh, okay, Soraya, don't worry about it. Just let your water evaporate from the chicken and then you're done. If you're using chicken thighs, you can't really go wrong. All right. Pretty cheap. This is kind of done, I think. Yeah. Mind this. Right. Have you got your, have you got your yogurt? Yeah. Right, so we need to add the yogurt. How much How much uh, I've got one tablespoon which I've slightly beaten with a little bit of water just to thin it out. Yeah? Okay, one second, let me do the same. You see, in the land, in the land of Turks, we get this sort of yogurt. It's like really, really thick. Yeah. Like so once cream. you've done that, add that in and let that cook for a few minutes. And this is an, at no this point, I'm going to add some more. No more methi? Yeah, I'm going to add some more methi. Okay. The yogurt gives it a nice tangy flavor uh, and a bit of, bit, uh, you know, tanginess to your uh, dish. And it will give you a nice texture to your uh, sauce as well. Why add yogurt? Cream. You cannot cream, but it's gonna, uh, you know, cool down the the flavor of the spices. Yeah, on the edge of my karai now, I can see the oil separating as well. Yeah, mine separate as well. You can see on the edge. You can see the oil separated. Okay. Oops. Right, I'm going to turn this down. Have you put your meti in? Yeah, I've just put the meti in and I've just moved, just uh, basically just mixing that in. Okay, one second. So this is fenugreek leaves. Okay, you want one teaspoon of badama. Squeeze it in between your hands. Put that in, give that a mix. It's on low now, I don't know where people are at. I know me and um, pretty sure are probably well ahead of people. But, um, of course I do, Riaz. The fenugreek gives it a really pungent smell now. Yeah, it's come up again. Right. Ready for the coriander? Um, yeah. Before the coriander, we added the, the meki. Look at that. Mm. 
Yeah. Lovely. Taking us just short of 35, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay. Where's everybody at? I'm going to really put her mind feet down. Is your fire alarm beeping? No, that's my induction. Okay, people are nearly finished. Okay, I'm going to... What do you think, people? Uh, I'm going to serve up in my karai. Who the chief's going to serve up in his karai? Should we get a, a bowl out or something? Or just, I'll leave it in here for now. I don't, I'm not as fancy as you. I don't have a karai yet. All right, okay. Oops. Look at that. Oh. Little taste, young lady. If you want to take this to a next level as well, you can mm -hmm. take some, you know, uh, chunky onions and some green peppers, fry that off. And if you want to even butter, add a few uh, slick green chilies in there and put it on top what of is? your karai. There what you is? go, you've got it ready. And this? So my, my, mine I'm going to do just before we eat. So I haven't got that ready. I'm just going to do that just before we eat. But I'm just going to... Yeah. Yeah, you can add any pepper. Red pepper, green pepper. But the green pe uh, pepper gives you a much more uh, better flavor than the green and the yellow peppers because they tend to be a little bit sweeter when you cook them. <laughs> Okay. No nice. What about what about Julian garlic uh, ginger? Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna finish. when I eat. I'm gonna add some uh, Julian uh, finely chopped uh, ginger, and then get a couple of them uh, nice freshly made chapatis that my wife and daughter have made. So just uh, waiting for it. Thank you, Sukar Cuisine. Thank you for your comment. All right. I'm gonna do that and then put a little bit more. Let it rain, man. Devil's garnish. You know what devil's garnish is? Okay. We've even got some people from uh, South Africa following us. Oh, -ho. saying that looks very yummy. So you're welcome. We'll cook it for you when you come over next. So if we get there, we'll cook it for you. Oops. Right. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. Right. Uh, Any more questions from anybody? Before we uh, sign off, why don't you have a little taste? Oh, I've already done that, man. You uh, because I've used that karai masala, man. I tell you what, the aromas in this house are amazing. Yeah, I can guess. My I'm daughter's just come down from upstairs to to see what's going on. Is it? Look at this. Hi. What do you think? Rate me, go on. Man, I'd be happy to eat that. Okay, lovely. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Delicious. Okay. Right. Has anybody else cooked it? Give us a little taste and tell you what tell us what you think. No problem. How long it take? What's the time? Forty minutes. Start to finish. Forty minutes. minutes. Two pounds of uh, chicken. We've cooked in just short forty minutes, uh, assuming that we've had things prepared. That's not bad when you come back from work and make it nice and fresh. Absolutely. Looking good. Very good. Right. It's so good. Thank you. Any other messages? Not tasted it yet. Come on. Right. So what I want you to do is upload your pictures onto uh, your stories. And tag us in so we can actually see your pictures and we can upload them again. Okay, so then we share our cooks, spread the word. I know we're in lockdown, but the thing with the lockdown is it's going to give us massive opportunities to start cooking. Okay, so then when you go out there, you won't want to have a takeaway. Why want to have a takeaway? You can cook this like this, at least epically, for 40 minutes in your house. You know, do the prep, prep words, don't take you 20 minutes. One hour, you've got a, you've got a, for lack of a better word, a banging meal. Okay. So, alhamdulillah, you know, so why don't we spread the word? Why don't you, instead of going out to these takeaways, and then why will have a, another effect? Because the takeaways will raise their game as well. These restaurants will raise their game. Why should I go to eat at a place where I can cook better at home? Yeah? 
So, um, Jazakallah, thank you for that. Um, I think that's it for you, Chief. Jazakallah, yeah, Khair again. One last no, thing. Some people have been asking me, are you going to do something in Ramadan? Uh, it's just a little bit difficult in Ramadan. I just like to have a, a downtime in Ramadan. Uh, but there are some recipes in the pipeline post-Ramadan, inshallah. Okay. Follow Foodie Chief. Is the so man. We, Indian food we, we, is the man. Okay. We, Not we just Indian food. He really likes seafood and that sort of stuff. But, um, yes. Right, it's a good. So we've got some nice uh, seafood recipes coming through and some more chicken recipes coming through. And um, I don't know whether anybody's seen my uh, uh, highlights, but I've got a really good Rajasthani uh, dish on there called Lal Mas, which is absolutely gorgeous. You make that, it's absolutely gorgeous. Try it. And maybe, maybe, uh, look for you, we might try that with some Hill Farm uh, lamb. Absolutely. This is definitely taken. Okay. Um, I was going to say one more thing. Yeah, Ash, what were you saying? Ash asked the question. Uh, answer my question, man. One second. Have you seen Fast Track Ash's question? Not tasted it yet. Yes. Ash, I can't see your question, bro. Can karai be done with spinach? Yes, you can. Right. What, what you can do is when you uh, uh, cook your onions, once they're done, you can add your spinach in because if it's fresh spinach, it'll have, again, lots of water. So you mm -hmm. need to make sure that's cooked through. Okay. Uh, this recipe, the highlights are in Foodie Chiefs. I'm going to try to see if I can put this onto my um, IGTV. Um, let's see. I'll record it. If I can't, then I'll put it onto YouTube. But I don't think people got time to, you know, watch uh, 40 minutes of somebody cooking. Um, but turn each other. Let's see. Okay. What about the pot peppers he asked? I don't know about the peppers. I, don't, I didn't see that question. I was cooking. Sorry, bro. Yeah. So you saute the peppers, I assume. Saute yeah, them in a little, little bit of oil, just that they get a little bit of color. They say we have their crunch, and that's it. It's done. Yeah. When you eat your chicken with that, you'll give you a really nice flavor. Okay. All right. Cool. Right. I'm going to sign out. Uh, yeah, thank you things. again. Should the chief please tag us in both me and Pretty Chief to your stories, spread the word, you know, let's cook gourmet every day at home, inshallah. Okay? Yeah. My daughter's laughing because I'm not saying was it subscribe, like and was that book? Yeah, whatever. Okay, no problem. I'll see you soon, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, everybody stay safe and uh, look after yourself, especially in the current situation and remember all is all of us in the duas. Okay, no problem, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. This is going to be on my highlights for about 24 hours, yeah? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Any direct questions, you can direct message me. Yeah, or me, but pretty cheese the man.